Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here then welcome, my name's Chloe. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial of this look here, and for this look I've used the Dose of Colours Ice Cream Palette and the Jeffree Star Orgy Palette. So for this video I wanted to use um, a palette that I may not have used in quite a while, um, and then I just saw sort of this one in my collection from Dose of Colours, and the mint shade just sort of spoke to me, and I wanted to create this sort of mint chocolate chip eye. For any products that I have used in this video, I will of course pop them in the description box below for you, as well as my social media handle, which is at ChloeKH with two E's. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok and Twitter, where I post more um, sort of pictures and reels and things like that of my looks. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Really hope that you enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hi guys, so all nice and zoomed in now. Um, so to start off this sort of mint chocolate chip eye, I'm going to start off with the um, Dose of Colours ice cream palette. I have had this palette for so long and I haven't really used it in, in quite a while and I've been trying to go through my makeup collection and sort of pick out things that I haven't used um, for a long time and this is one of them. Um, so this is what it looks like here, it's got uh, some nice shimmers and some um, mattes as well. So I am going to start off with this uh, dark brown shade in the palette called Hot Fudge. So I'm just going to take that on my little Morphe pencil brush um, just to sketch out the shape. Okay, so once that's uh, just packed on, I'm going to take my next pencil brush here and just gently blend out the edge. So next, I didn't really like any of the other browns in this palette because um, these two are shimmers and then this one's sort of like almost like a purpley um, brown and I don't think that it's quite the next colour to put on after this one. Uh, I feel like it's too light. So I am going to hop into my Jeffree Star Orgy palette just here and I'm going to take this shade here called Graving Chocolate. And I'm just going to gently blend it round, stamping it on a little bit at a time. Just sort of stamping it on and then um, almost using a wiggling motion to blend out the edge. 50% on that hot fudge shade, 50% off. So I want there to be a nice blend between the two. I really like this Craving Chocolate shade. I feel like it's such a nice transition shade out of a really dark brown before you go in with your sort of lighter shades to blend out. Then I'm going to take my next Morphe pencil brush and gently blend out the edge of that Craving Chocolate shade.
So as you can see, this is fallout from that hot fudge shade and I haven't had much fallout from my Jeffree Star shadow. Next I'm going to be hopping into this shade here called Top. And I'm just going really lightly round, so I'm holding the brush sort of um, all the way down here at the end, just so I've got a light touch with it. And then just extending from that hot fudge shade down here as well. Um, like hot fudge is sort of up here, but with each brush and each time I blend, I'll sort of blend down. Um, just so the shadow doesn't stop, it sort of fades out. So next brush, and I'm just blending over the top of this. Then I'm going to be going into this peachy shade here called Blowout. And this one just kind of goes um, all over and pulling it out. Again, this one I'm holding right at the end. Um, I'm only going in with a little bit at a time because I'm just gradually pulling um, the shades out. And then turning the brush sort of in on itself um, to really use the outer bristles to blend. So I'm just going to take an extra step and going with um, this shade here. Uh, called Vanilla Latex. Just on my little um, Made by Mitchell ME10, just so I can lighten up this portion here on my um, brow bone. I just, I don't like shadow going up into my brow, I don't think it suits me, because um, I like to have quite a bushy brow, I feel like it looks a bit too harsh. Um, so I personally like to have a bit of a gap between my brow and my eyeshadow. Um, so I'm just doing this little step uh, to brighten that back up and to blend the shadow. You can just use um, your face powder as well, that works quite well. So I'm just gonna go back into those shades now and um, add a bit more definition. Build it up to where I want it to uh, before I cut my crease. So today is Saturday. Um, we're in the start of July, um, so it's my friend's um, wedding month, which is quite nice, um, that's come around so quick, so in a matter of weeks I'm going to be um, bridesmaid, and then um, Jake and I go on holiday um, around the start of August, so look, really looking forward to that, we're going to Greece uh, for a week. Jake is at work today until 6.30 so I'm just sort of pumping out a few videos really um, and then when he gets home tonight we are going to watch volume 2 of Stranger Things. I mean he was around his brothers last night um, and he was planning on going to his friends tonight but they've sort of cancelled um, and we're going to watch Stranger Things instead. I cannot wait for volume two. I think there's only two episodes in it. Um, but they're like one's an hour and a half and one's like two hours. 
or two and a half hours. So I'm looking forward to um, season four finale. But not at the same time because apparently there's lots of deaths. And I don't want Steve to die, he is my favourite character. Okay, I'm going to choose to leave it there, um, just because I don't want it to get too muddy and take it too high, so I'm going to cut it away and see what it's like. So I'm just going to take uh, some micellar water on my little um, cotton bird and just wipe this all away. So I do really like doing this trick before I go in with um, concealer or uh, the P. Louise base or anything. But I can't find my pointed um, cotton buds. So I'm having to use this round one and not go as high because um, I find that it dips too much into the shadow. So then to um, carve out my crease and really sort of perfect the shape, I'm going to go in with one of my Makeup by Tammy um, little fine liner brushes um, and my Benefit Boing Concealer. Okay, so crease is cut, crease is set with a little bit of powder. Um, so I am just going to dip into that hot fudge shade and just sort of do a little rounded shape. Just by sort of curving this around. trying out a new shape with my eyeshadow. Experimenting recently. And then going in with some craving chocolate. Teeny bit of top. And blow out.
Now to be fair, when I was um, doing this look on this eye, I did almost stop here and just put a bit of um, one of the P.W.E.'s paints here. I was just thinking of doing something like that. But I really wanted to use this next um, shadow. I wanted to do sort of like a, a mint chocolate chip eye. Uh, so I am going to go back into the Dose of Colours Ice Cream Palette and take this shade here called Mint Chip. And with the Dose of Colours um, Shimmer as well in this palette, um, I do have to spray with a bit of um, Urban Decay Setting Spray. Because I feel like they do crumble. So when I get to the edge, I'm just gently blending um, into those browns and then I'll sort of go back in and blend this way uh, with the browns as well. Just a bit of back and forth to get a nice um, fade between the two. Okay, so next I'm just going to draw a little line um, just here. I'm going to be taking the Peewee's base in Hint of Mint. Okay, so I'm back to do my under eyes. Um, I've just put um, a bit of that concealer down. So I'm just going to take this Vive uh, Eye Wand in Mahogany. Uh, I'm just going to tight line the top and bottom. And then just run it underneath so I've got no gaps. Take my little Eco Tools pencil brush just to blend. Taking a bit of that craving chocolate shade. And some blowout. Then taking some of that vanilla latex shade just to pop in my inner corner. And a teeny bit stamped on my brow bone.
so I am going to hop off camera now, pop some lashes on, do the rest of my face and then I'll be back to show you the finished look. Hey guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!